next version of Windows we have coming out uh, called Windows 8. Uh, Windows 8 for us is, is more than just sort of the next rev of an operating system. It's really, uh, we talk about it as reimagining Windows uh, and what Windows and your device, your PC can be. Uh, and that starts with sort of uh, the, the silicon all the way down to the chipset and, and the ability for Windows 8 to run on both ARM platforms, uh, on very small, uh, power friendly, uh, portable devices, all the way up to, you know, to big gaming rigs with multiple monitors and mouse and keyboard and things like that, and, and sort of everything in between. In fact, one of my favorite things is uh, I have one of these PCs, the, the Samsung uh, Developer Preview PC that we gave out at the Build Conference in September, and you know I carry it around, use it as a, as a great mobile device, uh, but also I can dock it, I can connect it to a big Multimon setup, uh, mouse and keyboard, great audio, and all that kind of capability. So it really, and then when I want to go, I just pick it up again. And, and because it's my PC, I don't have to sync anything, I don't have to copy anything down off one machine to another. Um, and so it's this really great kind of no compromises uh, kind of experience. Uh, and I'll show you sort of how some of that works. I'll show you some touch uh, user experience with, uh, with this machine here. Uh, and I'll also show you uh, using the mouse and keyboard and how easy that is as well. So the first thing you see with, with Windows 8, you unlock the system and you see the or power on the system, you see the, the lock screen. Uh, lock screen is just a photo that you get to customize, but also it has some information that's available for you kind of at your fingertips. Um, if you have apps that support it, uh, then there are notifications that will appear down here uh, to show you new emails or, or instant messages and things like that. Uh, logging in is as easy as swiping up, and you and you can see this is our, our new uh, picture password capability. And picture password is a, a way that allows you to have both a secure login, but also something that's very easy for you to use, and it's not a big long password you have to remember. Um, and, and what you can do is you can, with any photo and a set of gestures that, that you decide for that, that makes sense for that photo, personalized for you, um, you, can, you can log in very uh, quickly and easily. So uh, Alice's son here, she set this up, and, uh, and if I just touch each of his eyes and then swipe across his smile, um, it's uh, going to log into that system. So again, that's a, just a gesture, a set of gestures that, uh, that she had configured um, that, uh, that were sort of very personal and easy to remember. The new start screen here is really the, the hub, it's the center of Windows 8. Um, and, and as you can see, it's, it's uh, full of uh, what we call tiles. So the tiles are, are more than just sort of flat uh, icons. They're actually sort of alive with information and, and updating. So I, 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 just at a glance, I can see uh, news, I can see my socks or weather or whatever apps, whatever I've personalized and, and, and is relevant for me. Uh, and the cool thing is that none of these apps are running, right? I just logged in. So none of these were running, um, and yet still they're all getting notifications, they're getting updates, uh, and so just at a glance I can sort of decide what I want to go and, and drill deeper into. Uh, navigating the start screen with touch is, is super easy. You just touch anywhere and pan uh, back and forth. I can see all the different groups that, that I've set up and personalized for me, um, and, uh, and, and, and you can actually see um, uh, there's a little gray dot on the screen. This, this is just a visual aid that I've turned on for the demo. It's not normally there, but, but it lets you see kind of where I'm touching as I, as I go. Um, and, uh, and, and as you can see, it's, it's super fast and fluid. It's really easy to, to, to navigate around. Um, and uh, as you see, I've got a lot, a lot of different apps on there, but let's say I don't have an app that I, that I want to get. Well, acquiring apps is, is super easy as well. So I just tap the store tile there, and this uh, takes me to the new Microsoft Store. Uh, and uh, uh, in the store, you know, as you'd expect with any sort of uh, app marketplace, we've got categories, we've got uh, you know different subcategories, collections of apps. Um, I can I can uh, drill into an app and, and see details about it, and, and I can download a trial or I can buy it. Uh, all there, just right right at the uh, a few touches of your finger. What you don't see when you're looking at this app, because it's just a Metro style app, um, is the, the Chrome, the stuff that you sort of normally think about when you think about Windows. The, the, you know, there's no bar across the top, there's no buttons, there's no taskbar. And that's because for Windows 8, our, our principle really is that every pixel on the screen should belong to the app, which belongs to the content. The content is what you care about. And so uh, that we, we've done that. We've provided every pixel edge to edge uh, belongs to the application. The app developer can decide how to use that for their uh, application to make it really immersive and captivating and, and wonderful to use. But, uh, you know, of course there, there are things that you have to do with Windows as you navigate between apps and, and as you use your PC that you want to also be able to get to very, very quickly. And so what we've done is we provided this, this uh, capability called Charms. And if, as I slide out from the right edge of the screen, I've just taken my thumb and just, just slid out like that, um, and you can see that I, I reveal these, these Charms. And these are a set of just standard functionality um, that uh, you know, across Windows, across every application that you can get to with just that quick gesture. Uh, and I'll go into some more detail on those in a little bit, um, but for now I'm just going to jump back 
to start, and, and I'll show you that. I, I had cut the rope installed in the system here, so let me just show you this real quickly. And, and you can see this is a you know, full-fledged app. It's, it's fast, it's, it's, it's uh, running very, very fluidly in this system. Uh, the amazing thing about this, this is running on our new Windows Runtime environment, and Zeptolabs, the developer of this app, um, because the Windows Runtime fully embraces web technologies, HTML, Java, uh, JavaScript, and, and CSS, um, the, they were able to take their web version uh, and port it to Windows uh, 8 as an immersive metro style application with you know very very little work uh, and and again it's it's this great immersive full screen game here uh, that uh, that you can play and it was just super easy for them to do that. I'll show you uh, uh, another one eBay. Uh, this is an example of how a developer can take a website and again because it's, we support all these web technologies is able to very easily take a uh, that their existing code and services and, and connect those together into a great immersive uh, application. And we really think that Windows 8 is, is an unprecedented opportunity for developers. There's a million and a quarter, or, excuse me, a billion and a quarter uh, Windows PCs in the world today, uh, and there's 400 million PCs expected to ship next year. So the size of that marketplace means a couple of great things. For app developers, it means that they have a, a huge potential market uh, to reach out and to, and, to, and to share their applications. And for consumers, it means that those app developers are going to be highly motivated to write lots of great, rich uh, applications. So you'll have tons and tons of choice. Uh, I showed you a little bit of the, of the touch-based navigation, but uh, you know, of course, not all systems are going to be touch. Uh, and, uh, and navigating with mouse and keyboard is something that's also incredibly important. So I just switched over to this uh, laptop here. It's not a touch-enabled system. Just to show you a little bit about how that works. So here, I, again, I'm at the start screen. Again, I, the tiles are they're alive with activity. Um, one thing that you'll notice uh, in the, on the, the tablet, because its screen resolution was a little lower, it had three rows of tiles. Um, and as the resolution increases, I get additional rows of tiles. So again, I get to use all that space um, and, and really customize and lay things out uh, in a way that, that really works for me. Uh, as I move the mouse, you see that uh, we have a scroll, scroll bar here. It's you know, obviously a familiar control for everyone, um, but not the most convenient to use. You don't always want to sort of have to go down and do that. And so with the mouse, we, we've also we've made it really easy to navigate in a number of other ways. Uh, the first is that I can just move the mouse to the edge of the screen, and as I tap over there or, or nudge it, um, I'm able to, to scroll. I can do it slowly, I can do it quickly, um, and as you can see, I can navigate across that that, uh, that start screen in a very simple way. Of course, if I'm, my mouse has a scroll wheel, I can also do that. I can scroll and, and, and navigate across that way. Um, but let's say I have a lot of apps. Maybe I've got a you know, big wide start screen with a lot of apps pinned to it, um, and I want uh, to zoom out and see all those at one, one point. I can hit control and scroll wheel, and I, now I can zoom back. It's basically, we call this a semantic zoom, because it's not zooming out on the pixels, it's actually stepping back and sort of seeing everything semantically laid out. And I've got all those groups now that are there. I can I can uh, name any of those groups. Um, I can I can you know if I want to move something, I can move that around there. Um, and I, or I can just you know if I just wanted to zoom out and, and, and zoom back in, I can just click a group. And you know to show you how fast that is to, to move back and forth, it's incredibly easy uh, to do so. Um, as I said, personalization, making this really sort of your start screen, is is super important. So you know the the, the we want to make it incredibly easy to do that. So let me show you a couple things there. So if I wanted to move this eBay tile, maybe I don't want to see this uh, in, my, in my first group here. I just click on it, and I, now I can drag it around. I can put it anywhere I want. I can nudge the screen and navigate over there. I can put it in any group that I decide to. But, uh, but let's say I want to put it all the way in the group at the end. I can just drag it to the bottom, zoom out, drag it over here, drop it in wherever I want, and there it is. Um, so again, super easy to, uh, to navigate and to move those things around and, and really sort of customize that and make it really yours. Uh, with a keyboard, though, there's even sort of faster ways you can navigate. Like I know that you know I've got an icon here, you know, for Excel, and I could I could click Excel and, and launch that. But let's say I'm I'm way over here and I, and I don't see it. Uh, I don't have to navigate over there, so I can just start typing. I just type in you know exe, and, and as you saw, as I started typing, it just kind of word wheeled through the the things that were potential matches until it found the right one, and then just to tap there, and, and there it is. Um, and you know. This is Excel is a desktop application, uh, and, and just like you'd expect, Windows 7 applications, you want those, to, you know, again, no compromises, right? You want those to run on your Windows 8 PC, so of course they do. We have the, the familiar Windows 7 desktop here uh, with all the same, you know, like windowing controls. I can, you know, I can snap that, I can move it around, um, I can uh, launch other applications here, um, and, and do the same thing with those, and snap that. Um, and, uh, and again, I don't have, you know, it's all the stuff that I'm familiar with. I can, I can pin things, I can organize, I can change the background, I can do all that stuff that, uh, that you know, that, that made Windows, 8, uh, Windows 7 great for me as well.